Lava continues to erupt and destroy homes in and around Leilani Estates. And this afternoon, Helco warned Lower Puna residents there may be brief outages while crews reroute the power. Meanwhile, at the summit, ash explosions continued. The highest today shot about 12,000 feet into the air. Howard Dushevsky joins us from the Big Island now with the latest. Howard. Aloha, Joe. Yeah, it was another destructive night here on the Big Island as lava from the ongoing eruption claimed more homes and devoured more land. And I'm going to step out of the shot here. You can see that smoke rising in the distance from beyond those trees. It's about two and a half miles away. That's the edge of Leilani Estates. Also today, we learned the latest information regarding the interaction of lava with the wells at PGV and news of a dramatic change in the landscape at what used to be the lava lake inside the Halima'uma'u crater. The most active fishers feeding the fast-moving flow that borders the Leilani Estate subdivision continued to roar with a vengeance overnight, and it reactivated again today. According to Hawaii County Civil Defense, approximately 10 homes were devoured, not far from where we shot this footage only yesterday. Officials say they won't be able to confirm exactly how many homes were taken until tomorrow, when the real property and housing office reopens. But the fear is more homes will be consumed by that time as the flow only continues to grow. So last night we had a pretty good, um, well, it was a, a big rush of lava broke through, it looks like on a, through a perch pond. And um, subsequently it took out approximately 10 houses at this point, probably might be more. But uh, so it brings us a total of 82 structures, and which is 41 homes. Meanwhile, a little more than a quarter mile away, the small lava flow that covered at least two of the wells on the grounds of the Puna Geothermal Venture Power Plant yesterday afternoon has slowed significantly. And officials say the double metal latch system used to secure the wells appears to have held without incident. No hazardous hydrogen sulfide or any other potentially dangerous gases released. It's holding, so we're very happy that it went that way. We were ready. As far as our monitoring system, to make sure if any gases were, were leaked out, we picked them up. Also today, geologists from Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory tell us the crater inside Halima'uma'u has grown in stunning fashion. From about 12 acres just a few weeks ago to more than 90 acres today. It's similar to what happened during the last explosive event of this nature back in 1924. Scientists say with no lava to provide resistance, along with the dozens of earthquakes every day at the summit, the walls of the crater are caving in. And all that rockfall is only adding to what could become more projectiles flying back out of the crater in future explosions. The current Holy Mama was formed by explosions in 1924. Uh, previous to that, 24, or previous to the explosions, Holy Mama was half the diameter that it is today. And one of the interesting findings is that uh, they, they may be more related to gas than steam, as we once thought. And today marks 18 days since Hawaii Volcanoes National Park shut down. That is the longest shutdown ever. The previous long mark was back in 2013. Then it was shut down because of a government workers shutdown. Reporting from the Big Island, I'm Howard Dushevsky. Joe, for now, we send it back to you in Honolulu.